Wispo. G'day Jim, how are you mate? Good mate, you ready for some bass action? Oh, let's hope. Looks like a good afternoon. Should be sensational up there. Let's get up the river. Thanks, Jim. What do you got on there? Mate, I've got the little Rebel Teeny Popper. Ah, good lure. Classic lure, those ones. Yeah, brilliant for the bass. Love the bass fishing up here on the surface in the Shalhaven. Yes, it's pretty good fun. I've just got a little tiny torpedo out. Got a couple of fish on that earlier on, but I uh, haven't had one for a while. I might swap over to a jitterbug or something. What do you reckon? Yeah, a bit more extra surface action. Those jitterbugs, they get that really good blooping sound, mm. and the bass really seem to respond to it up here. Yeah, I've got to say, even if they're small fish on the surface, it's just something special about a bass, isn't it? Oh, it just gets the adrenaline running and, you know, that's what a lot of guys do the fishing for. Like, I know, as a young bloke, coming up here fishing, much rather throw a surface lure around than just fish with a normal diving lure. Just a lot more fun. I guess the thing with surface lures too, it's so visual. I mean, uh, you know, you really see the fish strike. You get a lot of short strikes with surface, but um, even that's pretty exciting, I reckon. Oh, seeing yeah. that boil and the splash from the fish, it's really cool. Brilliant. Mate, um, the little tiny torpedo is a, you know, it's been a classic bass lure for a long time. It's got these little blades on the back here that when you, uh, when you work the lure, they, they sort of fizz in the water. This is what you call a fizzer. And uh, the lure you've got there, mate, is um, your classic popper. With that sort of cupped face. You get the bloop, bloop in the water when you, when you work it. It's got the ball bearing in there also, yeah, and it's got the, a little feather in the back, and inside the feather, you see there's a little bit of a glittery feather in oh, there yeah, as well. Okay, okay. And I find the bass really likes the, likes the feathers; they tend to come up and hit the feathers a lot. And what's your uh, what's your favourite sort of retrieve with with a popper style lure? Well, I, I, I just cast it out, and a lot of the time, especially with the bass, I like to cast it out cl as close to the structure as possible. Yep. And then just let it sit there for a couple of seconds, just while the pressure waves move around, because the bass are a very inquisitive fish. And then just like a quick, sharp jab at it and, and a slow roll. And what it happens, it just gets a good bloop going on. Because a lot of the times they'll sit there and look at it with their nose against it. And then they'll see it trying to get away like that and got him on. How's that? Good times. Nice fishing. little fishy. I guess the thing with uh, surface fishing for bass, um, it's 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 probably more a summertime activity. Oh, definitely. Um, those hot days when you got the cicadas, uh, you know, squeaking in the trees. You've got a good nor'easter, but nor'easter that's been blowing all day. Uh, a high barometer. They're all classic sort of bass uh, feeding triggers. Um, you know, I, I like fishing uh, late afternoon into the evening, even into the night. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm the same. I love that afternoon bite. Uh, is that a little fish? Pretty fish, aren't they? Hey? Really nice. There are a few different types of lures that you can use when you're surface fishing for bass. Probably the most uh, famous bass lure in Australia is this guy here, it's the jitterbug, and it's what I would call a paddler style lure. So when it goes across the surface of the water, it actually paddles along, sends out a distinctive wake and makes it a distinctive sound. Very, very effective lure. Another common bass style lure is this guy here, which is the Rebel Pop R. It's a classic popping style lure. Uh, so you'd bloop it across the surface and uh, attract the fish in that way. And the last lure I want to show you here is uh, the tiny torpedo. This is a fizzer style lure. So when you retrieve this guy, it's got these propellers here at the back, and they actually fizz in the water, sends out a distinctive spray of water. Very effective lure. I've caught a couple of nice bass on this guy today uh, while we've been fishing. Um, 
So here you go, three main types of bass lures. Your paddler style lure, which is your jitterbug, your popper, which is your pop R from uh, Rebel, and the uh, fizzer style lure, which is this uh, hidden tiny torpedo. Three very, very effective uh, bass lures. So what I've got here is the medium size jitterbug. Just gonna do a cast out, show you a couple of retrieves that I find that work really well. And um, let's see how we go. These are fairly heavy lures, so you don't have to get behind them, you can just do a nice light lob. I like to put a bit of height in my cast, just so it looks like there's a bug falling out of a tree. Let those um, pressure waves go. Sometimes I like to start off my retriever just with a little, I call it the nervous twitch. And what it does, it just makes the lure there twitch away in the water. Makes it look like um, a bug that's falling in the water, just vibrating and buzzing away. And then I'll just slowly drop the rod, slowly, and just slowly bring the lure out and just let it get up to that little blopping sound that bass fishermen love to hear. So we just bring, always bring your lure right back to the boat just because you never know when you're going to get a hit. So I'll lob it in, a little bit of a different retrieve this time. Once again, I like to get that little bit of height as close to the bank and the snags as possible. Drop him in there, let it sit again. This time I'll just do the quick jerks. Another one. And then just do the slow retrieve out again. Pause, off again. A lot of the times you'll find these lures because they're so bulky, the fish will just come up and have a look at them because they just make so much noise when they hit the water. But this little jitterbug, look, if you can't catch bass on surface with one of these, what can you catch bass on? If you want to try a bit of surface fishing for bass, the sort of gear that you need is uh, pretty much the same as you'd use for brim or flathead. So a 1,000 to 2,000 size spinning reel, um, a nice responsive seven foot uh, spin stick. Uh, braided line is highly recommended. I'd go for something in the four to six pound range. And for leaders, I'd use something around the four to eight pound fluorocarbon uh, sort of range. Uh, bass fishing is great fun, but when you uh, surface fish for bass, it takes it to a whole new level. Uh, it's a really challenging and exciting uh, sport and for one of our great native sport fish. So uh, give it a go sometime, and uh, I'll see you on the water. <laughs>